If you don't know, Cursor is one of the most popular code editors for using AI to rapidly speed up the volume of code you can write. And not just the volume, but often the quality and completeness and writing tests and doing a lot of stuff to save us developers time. And those who use Cursor on a regular basis know how annoying it is to run out of your tokens you have in your pro plan, which means you can't use the fancier models that are really good at coding and you have to scale back to the somewhat weaker models that are decent at coding, but what if there was a way we could harness the power of the machine we are already developing on and feed cursor and LLM running right off our computer? Well, that's exactly what we're going to do today, and this method is free to try, and if it works for you, then you might end up saving a lot on your cursor bill. So let's get started. First off, we're going to grab LM Studio, which is a pretty front end that makes it easy to download various LLMs, chat with them directly, and configure some settings. But my favorite feature is it makes it really easy to mimic the OpenAI API so that we can feed it into cursor are really easily, which we'll get to in a second. And so I'm going to go ahead and load up DeepSeek Coder V2 Light Instruct Mix. If you want to swap out the LLM you're using, you can just hit eject here and grab a new one. And once that's loaded, you can see down here, I've set my mode from user to developer, which makes it much less chat GPT like and more, well, buttons. We're going to head over to the developer tab here and you can see we have this server, which is an open AI like server, which means using this tool, we can have any LLM that we download act like the open AI API, which things like like cursor I've come to expect. And so we can have like slash models, slash completions, slash embeddings, all that good stuff. And so to use that first thing we're going to do, we'll change status stopped to on. And we can see we have curl pop up here for this deep seat coder LLM. And if we pop up in the settings here, we want to make sure that we have enable cores. We want to make sure we have just in time loading turned on. And we'll want to know what the server port is, which right now is just one, two, three, four. And so now popping into cursor, we'll go to our settings here, go to models. And if we scroll down to open AI API key, we'll open up the override open AI base URL and you won't see this when you open it up and you might think that you'll be able to just punch in 127.0.0.1 colon 1234 slash v1 to use it however the way cursor calls its APIs it doesn't love talking to a locally hosted API server and will throw an error when you try to do so and so instead what we'll do is employ one more tool called ngrok which you are probably aware of it's a pretty popular tool essentially it's just a simple way to proxy your local API server out to the internet which we will do to then call right back into cursor. And the lovely thing is you can get a lot of value out of it for free. So that's what we are going to do. And as we can see on Mac, it's just brew install ngrok on Windows the same, but using chocolatey. And I'd hope you're using a package manager, whether you're on Mac OS or Windows. And then to put our app online, all we have to do is type ngrok http 127.0.0.1 colon 1234.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0
agent expects. So it doesn't know how to apply its editing tools and all of that to specific files and folders. And so it's a little more like original GitHub Copilot in that you'll have to actually copy and paste new files into their proper files and save them. Or if the local LLM suggested changes to an existing file, you'll use the apply changes button and then cursor will go and do the diff and apply itself. But it won't be able to automatically make all the changes to the files like it can in agent mode with other LLMs like Anthropic or OpenAIs. But that's how you use a local LLM in cursor. I hope that helped you guys out. And if you like this video, be sure to check out my recent video where I built a pretty full on Minecraft clone using only AI, especially using cursor and LLMs like this. The final product was pretty sick. Oh, and please subscribe to the channel. Okay, thanks. Bye.